One of the old ready state truisms is that your combat stance is your everyday stance. And when we're talking about low back discomfort and standing, oftentimes when we start to come back to the feet, we see that people don't have a good idea of where to put their weight. And so what we like to say is, hey, be 50% of your weight on your, your heels and 50% on your balls of your, of your feet, and then put your ankles in the middle of your feet. And one of the things that happens is that that's going to get our big toe on the ground, but oftentimes if I'm standing and I'm comfortable with this little bit of an over, kind of anterior pelvic tilt, then my weight is ending up in my heels. And if I'm going to be 50-50, I have to shift my weight forward. But if I do that, now I'm suddenly going to fall over. So suddenly what ends up happening is the body ends up reorganizing itself, kind of finding a little bit better mechanical efficiency so that I can be balanced from the ball of the feet to the heel. And suddenly I don't really have to worry about a pelvic tuck because in order to maintain that position, I naturally have to sort of unwind some of those mechanics. Again, weight on the heels, over, over uh, extended to the pelvis, big toe off the ground, really weird to squat, started to bring my weight back forward, quads come back on, I'm a much more midline position, breathing works, pelvic floor starts to work a little bit more effectively. In short, if you're feeling like you're standing around, do a little quick test. Are, your, are you 50 front, 50 to the back, are your ankles in the middle? And then what happens to your weight as you start to recompensate and reorganize over that balanced foot position?